Lakers lose to Timberwolves as LeBron makes history. Westbrook blooper reel continues. The Los Angeles Lakers fell to the Minnesota Timberwolves Friday night at Target Center despite LeBron James making NBA history by passing Carl Malone for most 20-point games. James, 37, finished the game with 28 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 steals. Anthony Davis was sidelined with a back injury and Russell Westbrook came off the bench for the purple and goal. Westbrook, 33, had spurts in which he looked better offensively, but the final play of the game added to what has become a blooper reel. The entire arena laughed as Westbrook turned the ball over for the fifth time, this time in a crucial moment down the stretch and with nobody to blame but himself. Anthony Edwards' Ruddy Gobert duo. Westbrook recorded 18 points on 6 for 1-7 shooting to go with 8 rebounds. Anthony Edwards ended the night with a game-high 29 points on 1-1 for 2-2 from the field. Ruddy Gobert scored 22 points and grabbed 21 rebounds in 37 minutes of action, while Carl Anthony Towns hit a crucial triple to ice the game and finish with 21 points. The only bright spot for the Lakers when it comes to shooting was Troy Brown, who went 4 for 6 from beyond the arc. The team shot a collective 9 for 2-9 from deep. Lakers now prepare for a four-game home stance that could see them remain winless, starting Sunday against the Denver Nuggets. Spurs wave Joshua Primo without explanation, Greg Popovich acts mysterious. The San Antonio Spurs waved guard Joshua Primo on Friday without offering an explanation. Primo, 19, was selected by San Antonio in the 2021 NBA draft with the 12th overall pick. The 6'6 guard was averaging 7 points off the bench through four games this season despite battling minor injuries. Spurs Sports and Entertainment CEO R.C. Buford was vague and mysterious in his statement regarding Primo. It is our hope that, in the long run, this decision will serve the best interest of both the organization and Joshua, Buford said. Greg Popovich on Joshua Primo waiver. The franchise did not offer any other details regarding Primo, with San Antonio head coach Greg Popovich arriving 30 minutes late to his scheduled per-game press conference. We're going to stick by what we told you, Popovich said. Popovich, 73 arrived to the media session just minutes after the organization released the statement of Primo's waiver. San Antonio exercised the third-year team option on Primo earlier this month, so it's probable that the Canadian did something off the court that got him in hot water.